Hoboken residents filled Devon Auditorium at Stevens Institute of Technology for Mayor Don Zimmer's State of the City Address last night. Opening remarks came from Stevens Institute President Dr. Nariman Farvardin and Assemblywoman Annette Chaparro of the 33rd District. In 2009, the first time Don Zimmer ran for mayor, I did not vote for her. I was already working at City Hall when she became acting mayor that year and when she won the November of 2009 election. As a city employee, I wanted to show respect to my new mayor and give her a chance. I wanted to show her I was a valuable employee. It's important that you know that because in the short time Mayor Zimmer proved to me she was about inclusion, about making decisions that were best for Hoboken, and about surrounding yourself with the best people to best serve the city. We may not always agree or have different ideas, but when someone's heart is in the right place and they truly believe they are doing what's right for this city, you can't be mad at that. You respect it and help with the process because we all want what's best for this city. But she gave this woman the opportunity to be the first Latina woman out of Hoboken to represent the 33rd District. And I thank her and Senator Brian Stack for that opportunity. I am proud to have formed an alliance with her to work for bringing the best back to this great city from any level and for letting me know that she has my back, I have her back, and that's how you work together. Over the last year, we've made incredible progress to improve the quality of life for our residents. The city invested $11 million in a new <coughs> second flood pump, and thanks to a partnership with North Hudson Sewage Authority, we have made real progress in solving our flooding problem from typical storms. That's why our Rebuild by Design project is so critically important. This vital infrastructure project, funded by a $230 million federal grant, will give our community the protection and peace of mind we deserve with beautifully designed new urban amenities. We have conducted an extensive public process and are extremely close to jumping the final hurdle to ensure that we receive the $230 million funding needed to protect our city and our region. On March 16th, at a legally mandated hearing, we need everyone in Hoboken <laughs> joining together to send a loud and clear message that Hoboken supports this project. After the public hearing, we'll be moving toward what we call a record of decision at the end of the summer. Once we, re we reach the record of decision, we will have access to the full $230 million grant funding. Hoboken is directly investing a record $12 million this year to upgrade our water main system. After the water mains are replaced, we will move forward with repaving Washington Street, along with other changes like pedestrian signals, and green infrastructure to make our Main Street both safe and beautiful. I am working hard to renegotiate our decades-old agreement with Suez Water, which currently includes $350,000 per year for repairs, but nothing towards long-term upgrading of our water main <coughs> system. I have made clear in our negotiations that one of the non-negotiable terms for me is at least a $1 million annual payment for repairs and upgrades to the city water main system, indexed for inflation. I'm proposing that the remaining development areas in the southwest and north end have very limited residential development to reduce the number of cars that are added to our city. Instead, I do think that there's an opportunity to add commercial development and jobs that rely on public transportation. I'm proud that my administration, working with the council, implemented a 10% affordable housing set aside helping to ensure that Hoboken remains a mixed income community. As a result, we will create over 100 units of affordable housing for Hoboken in the near future. We've received $2 million more in community development block grant funding, of which we allocated $1 million to the Hoboken Housing Authority to renovate their elevator so our seniors can make sure to safely get up and down. We also uh, gave $300,000 to the Hoboken Shelter for improvements under Chief Peskin's leadership, the fire department has battled some very tough fires and is now even better trained and ready than before. We've made significant investments in new equipment, including three new apparatus to improve our readiness. 
Thanks to Police Chief Ferrante and the uniformed police officers and investigators of the Hoboken Police Department, violent crime is down more than 16% from last year, including a 35% reduction in robberies. Under my administration, municipal taxes will remain stable as they have been since I took office in 2009. So congratulations, Hoboken. Let's be proud of our diversity. Let's be proud of our history of immigration. Let's be proud that we are a welcoming community that welcomes new residents and welcomes and protects our residents. Let's be proud of our commitment to adapt to climate change and our investments in infrastructure. And let's keep working together to make Hoboken stronger and stronger and stronger. Mayor Don Zimmer received a standing ovation for her address. Hudson County View, VI, the community.